Trusted computing doesn't really mean that you can trust your computer. Microsoft and other large manufacturers of software can trust your computer to do what they want it to do. You think my Windows 11 must be stopped video doesn't apply to Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7 or even Windows XP? Well, you're wrong. In fact, there's this article from February 3rd, 2024 that has been fact-checked, debunked by the Associated Press and other lovely mainstream news outlets. Microsoft to disable computers of users who share non-mainstream content online. Is it true? It's not for me to say. I haven't looked into it. But here's something that they can't fact-check debunk away. The truth is, if Microsoft wanted to, regardless of what some terms of service say, they can kill your computer remotely. How can they do this? Automatic updates. If you have automatic updates functioning on your computer, on your Windows machine, then Microsoft has every capability to send down a poison pill and nuke your machine. It doesn't matter if you're running Windows XP, Windows, any of it really. It doesn't matter what you're running. Automatic updates mean that some guy somewhere at Microsoft Corporation can just have a bad day, decide they don't like you, and send you an update that wrecks your operating system, or worse. The thing is, you're allowing someone you don't know anything about, that you've never met, you know nothing, to go into your computer and put any arbitrary code that they want onto it. If they're at Microsoft, they have access to the Microsoft signing key, the Microsoft update systems. There is a way for Microsoft Corporation to destroy everything on your computer, and everything that computer can access. Make no mistake, it's not limited to just your, your machine. Your network servers, your external drives that are plugged in, your backups, whatever. Anything plugged into your computer, anything you can reach with your computer, even online accounts for which you have cookies stored on your computer, all of that stuff is at risk if you have software updating on your computer. Automatic updates are a massive, massive security risk. But they're not a security risk in the way that Microsoft or Adobe or some other software vendor would have you believe. See, they'll tell you that you need updates because you need to be secure. You need to be safe against all these vulnerabilities in an evolving world. And while there is some truth to that, while it is true that some software updates can patch holes and flaws that can make things a lot safer for you against technical threats that may or may not attempt to hit you, it's equally true that you can, the potential do, does exist for your computer to be destroyed by those same people that you're trusting to send you security updates. How would you know that it was done maliciously? Well, I mean, your computer's wrecked, so what are you going to do? How are you going to prove it? With the whole encryption on by default thing, if they nuke everything on your computer and then they scrub the encryption key so that you can't even get back into it to find out what was there in the first place, it's the perfect way. It's the perfect way to hide everything, to conceal your tracks. They could destroy everything that you have and you would have no proof because guess what? It's encrypted by default. So just keep in mind... Automatic updates mean that you're trusting someone else to not destroy your computer because trust means vulnerability. Trust is vulnerability. You trust Microsoft? Do you trust them? Do you trust that when you disable the update service that it'll stay disabled? Oh, wait, the Windows as a Service medic service and scheduled tasks exist to put that right back where it was if you knock it off. You can delete the Windows update service key in the registry and they'll put it right back in place without your permission, without your knowledge, without caring what you think. It's your machine, but do you really run it? You cannot trust other people. And this is the really crappy thing. Trust has to start somewhere. Because the truth is, if you can't trust anything, then you can't do anything. So you have to accept vulnerability somewhere. And at that point, the question goes from, am I safe or vulnerable, to how vulnerable do I want to be? Where is the least likely source of vulnerability? For some people, that's Microsoft. If you're just some corporate simp drone sitting around in your office doing some crap in Photoshop with your 
your bulk licensed Adobe and Microsoft products, they probably don't care very much about you. If, however, you are this article's point, non-mainstream content publishers that have a computer that's running Windows and some other software, all of which automatically updates by default, some of which won't let you turn off the automatic updates by default, some of which, like FileZilla, FileZilla server comes with a poison pill built in where if it's too old of a copy, it refuses to work anymore. At least I think it's FileZilla server. It may be the client. But there's a poison pill built into FileZilla. There's a poison pill built into... What was it? Um, Make MKV. There are programs that are designed to die if they're not a new enough version, thereby forcing you to obtain more code from some person you've never met on the internet and go with that new code. Can you trust that code? You can't independently audit everything that comes down your computer. You, you don't have the skills. You don't have the experience. There, there's no way for an individual to do that. So you have to accept the risk where it lies. And this notion that this, this article here about Microsoft disabling computers of users who share non-mainstream content, the notion that it's false, well, maybe Microsoft isn't going to do that. Maybe you are safe against them doing that. But the potential is there. All of the mechanisms exist for them to do that. The only thing that lies between Microsoft and your computer being destroyed, you pesky, out-of-the-box thinker, is them not doing it. You just trusting them. Why would they do it to you? Because you're not a very interesting person. It's about the only reason that they wouldn't care. But hey, man, if you're a high-profile target, if maybe if you're the next Alex Jones and you start talking trash about Microsoft and you start putting their business contracts at risk, do you think for one second that they wouldn't destroy your computer remotely and then just scrub the evidence because they have access to everything? They have root access to your whole system by default. They actually have access beyond what you do. If you don't believe me, go digging around in your system enough and you'll find things you can't access, you can't take ownership of. Windows Defender makes damn sure of that. While maybe, maybe, the article about disabling computers of users who share non-mainstream content might have been successfully fact-checked debunked. The point is, all someone has to do is press that button and nuke your computer remotely. Next Patch Tuesday, out goes a special update to only your computer. Yes, they can identify your computer remotely. Every installation has an installation ID. Your name's all over the data. It would be trivial for them to go dig up enough information to figure out whose computer it is. This is not conspiracy theory territory. The software is already there. The automatic updates are already there, are already forced, are already reinforced with repair mechanisms that self-heal it if you try to tear it down. So don't act like this debunking of this article somehow means that Microsoft would never nuke my computer remotely. Because if they want to, they will, and you'll never be able to prove it. Take them to court. See what happens. Not a damn thing. This is Jody Bruchon, signing off. Like, comment, subscribe. Send me some money. Take care.